OK, he's off in a cloud of smoke there with a boot full of power. Now there are small patches of wet on the straight there, but the rest of the track is pretty dry, so no excuses on that front. Barreling into the first corner. Oh, he's already getting it sideways. Come on, Stig, steady on. Drifting nicely on the exit. Ah, right, yes, Stig continuing his new obsession with Baroque Classics. Bit of bark there. Chicago nicely poised on the way in, but look at that rear tyre smoking. That is because the Conster doesn't have a limited slip diff. Porsche won't fit one because it would make the car faster cross-country than a 911. Stig told me the car really suffers for it. Still, he's looking neat round there. Radio 3 listeners will recognise this as the Concerto for Harpsichord and Strings number 7. More wistful, I think, than number 6. Now, coming up to follow through. Let's see how fast it is. Pretty quick. Two corners left, getting rather bobby under braking. This car doesn't have the faith proof ceramic brake option. That could hurt the time. Into Gambon. All oh, getting very sideways and across the line. He did it. He did it in one minute, 26.7. So it goes. <laughs> in front of a Corvette. Interesting you should have made a space, actually, because I reckon if you'd sent a 911 and a Boxster round as well, the 911 would have gone about there, yeah. and the Boxster, I don't know, about there? Yeah, exactly right. I'm just looking at this. 126. That's what it's worth. 